You have two documents here. One is your original, we'll call it poem A, and then poem B, well, is a copy of poem A that we sent off to our buddy, and he looked over it, made some changes to it, and sent it back to us. Well, if I double click on poem A, there's my poem, and I close out, okay? Or better yet, we don't close out, we just minimize and double click on poem B, and it's like, gosh, can you remember what was in poem A versus poem B? You can see it's kind of changing here, so there were some changes made, right? Well, I can come up to the View tab, and I can try to view it side by side, and compare side by side with poem A, and double click. And that doesn't really help. I mean, I have to come in here, and I have to zoom in a bit more, maybe more to 100% over here, and then it updates on the other side. I mean, now I'm going, let's see, the last loss. You know what's better than that? Is to actually do what Microsoft has, is compare or combining. There's not a whole lot of difference. I'm going to close out of these documents here. I can compare between the two documents, the differences, or combine both into one document. And like I said, there's not a whole lot of difference here that you'll see in just a second, but we'll do both. So to get started, I could either open up a new blank document or open up one of these documents. I'll just go ahead and open up a new blank document and then go to my View tab and let's do Page Width so I can have the full page view. Come to Review. And then I'm going to come over here to the compare group and click on the drop down arrow for my compare button. And it gives me two options. You see the two documents with arrows between them? You can compare the two, the original and another version of your document. And it will actually show your changes when it compares the two documents. Or you can combine the two documents into a new document. In fact, you can do that in compare as well. Now, the reason probably why you want to do that is, is that if you got two documents, one's your original, and you send it off to somebody else without coming on your review tab and clicking on track changes, so any typing or changes they make shows up in red. Well, if you forgot to do that, no worries, your backup, and let me turn this off, is to come here and compare your original with anything else that somebody sent over to you so you can keep track of those changes so you know if you want to accept or reject those. So I'm going to come over here first to compare and I got my original document and then my revised and I'll choose uh, poem A and poem B. By default there's no additional options but you can click on the more button and it expands here and a couple of things is your compare settings is what do you want to compare the changes that have been made within your document if there were moves made for words or, or characters in your document, table changes, fields, comments, formatting, do you want to show changes at the word level? And you want to show changes in the original document or the revised document or as I recommend in, in a new document which is the default because if you start uh, showing your changes in the original document and let's say you, you start accepting those changes well your original is overwritten you don't have a different copy do you where if you leave these two alone and have it in a new document then you can save your new document and always refer back to your original or your other revised document so here we go click on the drop down arrow we're going to browse to our desktop double click on poem A and click our, for our revised document browsing to the desktop and double clicking on poem B so now I have my original, I have my revised, and it's going to appear in the new document. And I can switch these and say now poem B, see that little button there, but you didn't see it, I was fast. You can switch your poem B from being revised to the original and vice versa, but I'll change them back. And then once I'm done, I don't have to see everything, just click OK. OK, it opens up my document. Here's the revised or the compare document here. And it's in a new document. You can see up at the top it says it's the compare results, number 13. It's generic. So if I'm in here and, and doing a lot of comparisons, it'll go to compare result 14, 15, 16, until I close out of Microsoft Word completely here. And, uh, you know, restart my computer basically or refresh this um, and doing new comparisons. First of all, this is the revised document comparing between your original and your revised document. And because we said we want to add this to a new document, it's comparing and it's taking your original and the differences that are made, it's going to update it in this compared document. So for example, over here it says the last, the last late guest. Well, because it's going against the original document, it's saying late was deleted. So it comes over here and there's late and it was deleted and lost, which was from the revised document was added. Anything you have a line through means that it was deleted out of the original document, whoever was doing the revised document, and anything with red underline was obviously what they added in the revised document. So now I don't have to jump back and forth and go, okay, which, what was my original and what was revised? Let me eyeball it here. It shows it right for me. It shows it right here all in red. And then just like in the previous training video, tracking your changes, you can do a couple of things. You can come over here. It gives you an idea of what was inserted and by who and you can delete that if you want and then it gets rid of it you can delete it out of the document but I'll undo that 
If you like eyeballing it over here, that's fine. If you don't, you can close out of it. You can also change the reviewing pane here. You can click and say you want it horizontal or at the bottom. So now your, your compared documents over to the left and your original and revised are over here. And if you don't like that, you can come up and click off and get rid of the reviewing pane altogether. Of course, you can always bring it back before, after. And then the other thing is, is you don't even have to look at your original or your revised documents. If that's too confusing, you just want to focus on what the, the comparison between the two. By coming over here in your compare group and clicking on the show source documents, you can hide your source documents. So I don't see my original and revised. I see the comparison between the two. Or I can click on the drop down arrow and just compare the original to all the revises that were made or changes from the revised document. And then also you can show the revised document and of course show both. Finally, uh, focusing on our compared document between these two documents, the original and the revised, is you can come up here and say, this will be the final showing markup. It means that of all the changes, this is the final markup between the two. Now I could go back and just say what would be the final if I accepted all the markups, and it would look like this, of course, without the reds in it, because I accepted all the markups as final. I can go back to the original uh, show up marking, which was, of course, the differences between the two, or I can just go back to the original document, which is this right here. So you got this, this was the original, and that's what's going to display over here. When you compare the two documents, it's showing the original. Okay, so let's get this bad boy going here. I want to be able to just hide the source documents. I want to show the final markup, the differences between those two documents. And just like you did in tracking your changes, training video, you'll come up here and you'll go to the next change and you can accept or reject the change. And of course you get additional options where you can accept all changes within the, the document or you can reject all changes within the document. But I just like clicking on the button accept if I want to accept the change and then it gets rid of the red and it, it adds the word and then maybe I can reject the change. So that means instead of deleting late, it accepts late, and so that's kind of annoying. I can undo that and just say, well, fine, we'll accept the change and get rid of the deleted word late. Now, do I want to accept the evening mist as the word added? Sure, I, sounds nice, I'll click accept. Do I want to get rid of the deleted word, night wind? Well, if I don't delete it, then I'll say the evening miss, night wind swallowed. Mm, I guess that could be okay, but you know what? I want to accept uh, Bob's deletion here so it looks nice, the evening miss swallowed and get rid of it. I don't accept his addition of bleak and. I'm going to reject it. And I like my original, lay tenfold gloomy, so I'll accept that. So you're accepting text that's been added, rejecting it, or accepting deletions, or rejecting those deletions. And we'll go ahead and reject that. And then once it's done, I've got my compared results 13. I can now go ahead and click on the Office logo button or come up to my Quick Access toolbar, click on Save, and then go to my desktop and type in um, maybe Poem C or New Poem, you know, whatever you'd like, and then be sure to save your work. Close out. Close out of my original blank document here. And there's my Poem C that I can open up and show the best of both worlds between the original and what my buddy did when he revised it, did some revisions for me. So let's go back, close out of here. We can open up a new blank document and then come to the Review tab. I want to click on the Compare button, but this time instead of comparing, I'll combine. Like I said, basically the same thing. I mean, you click on More Options, you got more options. You can combine your two documents, Poem A and Poem B, into a new document, or you can show the changes in the original document. But I'll keep it new. Go out again, browse to my desktop, double-click on Poem A, and then drop down arrow for my revised document, browse to my desktop, and double-click on Poem B. Click Less, so I don't need to see everything. And then when I'm ready, just go ahead and click OK. Now it remembers the results from my last I'm comparing, so if I want to click on the show, the show source documents, I can show both, and they're added over the original up at the top and the revised down at the bottom. It's the same thing here. I mean, you can do your show markups. You can also have your review pane down at the bottom. Basically the same thing. However, one other thing you can do if you wanted is that you can come over here and make any additional changes if you'd like, and if you want to keep track of that, of course, you can Go ahead and click on the Track Changes button and add some more text. Because maybe you're comparing and you like the best of both, but then you just remembered you want something more. So when all is said and done, here's my combined result uh, 19 here. I can go ahead and save that as Poem D or E or whatever, or an additional document with some added changes with my own tracking here. When you're done, be sure to save your work.
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.